Hey guys, welcome to ExcelForNoobs.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over um, basic formulas and functions. I'm going to show you how to enter and use functions in Microsoft Excel. Now you can see here I'm using the Excel 2013 version, but uh, this, this tutorial will also work for older versions of Excel, such as 2010, 2003, or 2007, and 2003. Okay, so um, the first thing I'm going to go over is to let Excel know that you're going to enter in a function or a formula, you first have to equal the enter sign. I mean the equal symbol. That's the, if you're going to, anytime you're going to enter in a formula or a function, you must let Excel know what you're doing by hitting the equal symbol first. It's the first thing entered into that cell. Whenever you do that, Excel expects a formula or a function. Okay, um, <clears throat> so now I'm just going to go over the, go over the uh, basic operators, the math operators in Excel. So you can see here we have addition, subtraction, all this is stuff you should have learned in elementary school, forward, forward symbols, division. We have the asterisk, which is multiplication um, for exponentials here, concatenation, joining numbers together. This is a logical comparison saying equal to. Here we have greater than, um, the greater than symbol, less than, this stands for greater than or equal to, less than or equal to here. And then we have the less than and the greater than symbol together, which stands for not equal to. And now I'm going to show you how um, we're going to start entering our first function. So you can he see over here, we'll start with addition. All I have to do, I can enter um, n numbers equals 5 plus Five. and that's our first formula and we hit enter and you can see that our result is 10 okay <clears throat> we can enter as many arguments as you want me we want equals 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 10 we can keep going and it will find the sum of all of those numbers another thing we can do is we can refer to cells equals number one plus cell D2 plus cell E2 and it will find the sum of the the numbers that are entered into these cells now when we're referring to cells this is really what makes Excel very powerful we can change the numbers and that will change the result of the formula because the number has changed and it's finding the sum of a different number and um, that's really why it's more important to uh, to refer to cells for your arguments instead of hard coding them in because it's easy to make mistakes and it's much more efficient. Okay, so I'll go through these very quickly because I think you kind of get it. Um, referring to cells minus, I'm doing subtraction here, and you can see it just subtracts the numbers. You can do 1 equals 5 minus 5, the result's going to be 0, that's manually entering in, equals 20, cell E3 minus cell D3, 20 minus 10, going to give us a result of 10, so there's subtraction. Alright, division equals 20, or the constant within cell E4 divided by cell D4, it's going to give us 2, if we change this to 40, our result changes. It's also important for you to know the op uh, order of operations. I have a couple tutorials on that. You can look around on my website at Excel for Noobs or through my videos if you don't know those yet. All right, uh, multiplication five asterisk five. A result of twenty-five, or we can refer to cells. I um, hit equals cell C five asterisk. D5 or star, whichever you want to call it, and there we get 50. Um, here I'm going down to cell F6, and now we can work with exponential functions and formulas. Um, I can hit always the equal sign and referring to cells to the power of is what that stands for, exponential, 5 to the power of 10, and what that's going to do is calculate 5 times 5, 10 times. And there we get our get our result, um, or we can enter it manually. And of course, you can combine all of these um, 
together. Okay, now if we want to join numbers together, equals 5, and symbol 5, and symbol, I'm sorry, cell D7, and symbol, and the constant within cell E7. And that should join all of our numbers together, and we should get 51,020. So that's just joining the numbers together as one number. Okay, now we're going to move into our log logical comparisons. Um, the equal symbol, we can use it also as a logical comparison. So I can say equals 5 is equal to 5. And if it's true, it's going to say true. And if it's false, it's going to be false. So if I say equals 5 is equal to 6, that's false. And our result will be false. And the same thing with referring to um, cells. If cell C8 is equal to cell D8, <clears throat> but it's not, it's false. And then again, if I change change the uh, value to 10 it is equal and therefore it's true and another thing I can show you I can also enter in we can refer to cells that contain formulas so equals to 5 plus 5 it's still true because the result of that formula and I can change another formula equals to 4 plus 6 a completely a different formula but with the same result and since the results are the same my result over here and uh, the argument or the comparison remains true. And then the same thing, um, 20 is greater than, logical comparison greater than, 10 if that's true, my result is true. Um, less than if 20 is less than 10, actually I'm doing, I'm, and I'm referring to, if 20 is less than, or if the result of the content in E10 is less than in D10, which it is. Then, so, sorry, equals D10 less than E10. That's true. And again, it's false if I enter a greater number, or even if I enter the equal number because it's less than it's not less than or equal to but here we start getting into the greater than or less than or equal to all right so if uh all the two equal numbers equals uh d11 if d11 is greater than or equal to sorry equal to the content within cell e11 our result should be true even if it's equal to and not greater than because and it is and if it's greater than, it still remains true. However, if it's less than, our result will be false. I think you get the hang of this. 20 less than or equal to 10. It's false because 20 is greater than 10. But now let's make D12 greater than E12. And you can see we get a true result. And finally, if... Um, cell D10 is not equal to cell E or D, D13 not equal to cell D13 and that is true 10 is not equal to 20 however it's false if I change the num the value in the cell that I'm referring to so there I think you have a pretty decent understanding of the basic operators and um, just so you understand you can combine these so I can I could come over here and I could say equals 20 plus and just keep referring to different cells divided by 10 you know that cell and it's good it's good to know the order of operations if you want to separate a formula plus you can use parentheses and remember in the order of oper operations anything inside the parentheses will be calculated first. 1 plus 3 times 9 or cell E9 to the power of 3 and I'm just making stuff up divided by 5 and there's a result I don't even know what I did but the point was you can combine all of these operators together. Okay Moving on over, I'm going to kind of go a little bit deeper into cell reference. 
Okay, so here um, I have what well, I'm going to make a very...